Partnership for Trade Resource, also known as the PRT, hopes to inform Canadians from all over Canada about the importance of natural resources and the impact that they have on our success as a nation. Now, the PRT hopes to do this because we as a nation face a new challenge, emerging economies. As economies and countries raise their people out of poverty, their demand for food, energy, forestry, and mining products is also rising. In order to continue our economic prosperity, we have to meet these new standards of competitiveness, safety, and sustainability in sectors including mining, forestry, agriculture, etc. To meet these standards, we must establish well-thought public policies that are supported by Canadians from east to west. Further, innovation and infrastructure expansion are keys to getting our resources to world markets, which is why we want more people to be actively thinking of ideas to do just that. And we want more people to understand the impacts of these ideas so that they can support and push for them rightly. Ultimately, the PRT would like to create a supportive environment for policy decisions and hopes to do so through three main objectives. The first objective is to reinforce pride in Canada's natural resource and trading-based economy. As Canadians, we have a lot to be proud of. For example, Canada is the world's largest exporter of forest products within the forest industry, contributing to about 1.8% of the country's GDP in 2010. The agriculture and agri-food industry contributes about $100 billion annually to Canada's GDP, which is more than the national GDP of two-thirds of the world's countries. We should be proud, and pride should incline us to become more involved in supporting public policies that address safety and sustainability in utilizing resources. The second objective is to remind people not directly involved in the mining, forestry, oil, gas, and farming industries how these natural resource sectors are closely linked to the ongoing well-being of our economy and to all Canadians. Many people might develop a disinterest in natural resources as they might perceive it as having nothing to do with them. In fact, it has everything to do with them. Natural resources have a huge impact on Canada's GDP, impacting the prosperity of Canadians. In 2012, activities such as growing crops, operating oil wells, running hydroelectric dams, and digging mines contributed to about 11% of the Canadian GDP. Hopefully, these statistics can make people more inclined to learn about the agriculture in their country and to become involved in establishing well-thought public policies. The third objective is to highlight the importance of the resource value chain and especially the unique opportunities available to our country if we have the drive to seize them. A resource value chain is a model that shows the activities involved in getting a particular resource to a consumer from its inception. For example, imagine that a chicken shop sells fried chicken to consumers. The chicken is supplied by wholesalers who receive their chicken from farmers. Now if a drought occurs, this would make it more difficult for the farmer to breed chickens, and as a result, he would have to raise his prices in order to meet his living standards. Thus, the wholesaler would have to increase its prices of chicken when selling, the ch when selling to the chicken shop to at least break even. Finally, the chicken shop would have to raise its prices. Now, what it comes down to is whether or not the consumer will buy the chicken. This determines the financial prosperity of the chicken shop. In this example, we can see that if a resource becomes scarce, then ultimately, the business that sells the resource to consumers may suffer. In our particular scenario, if the consumer was outside of Canada, yet the business was within Canada, then Canada's GDP would negatively suffer if the resource becomes tougher to accumulate. The third objective also deals with opportunities available to our country if we seize them. If we have the drive to establish public policies that provide responsible development of our energy, mining, food, fish, and, and forest resources, and that permit the evolution of safe and efficient rail, pipeline, port, and terminals infrastructure needed to deliver products to customers, then there will be abundant jobs for future generations, as these industries will continue to flourish. More jobs is equal to a more stable economy. But don't just take our word for it. For more information about the PRT, please visit www.powerofcanada.ca.